Assalamualaikum. Hello. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will be taking our virtual oath ceremony. So I will be sharing the procedure and everything that happens. So it will be really exciting and fun to become full Canadians. So let's get to it. Hello, can I have your seat numbers? Uh, yes. Uh, seat number is 109 and 1010. All right, is this your first time logging on? Yes. All right, please note, because Zoom is a third-party platform, confidentiality cannot be guaranteed during the ceremony. Uh, please have ready your PR card, a second piece of government ID, a pair of scissors, paper, and a pen. Your registering officer's name is Lisa. I'm going to move you to her waiting room. Okay. So right now we're in the waiting room and we're get, waiting for the registration. Thank you. So welcome to your citizenship ceremony. Uh, my name is Agent Manuela and before you guys take your oath today, we're just going to do a quick interview, okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, so can you please tell me your full names? Uh, Bushra Nawazish. Uh, okay, perfect. And then your son's name? Muhammad Azan Ali. Okay, thank you. Um, and are you in Canada right now? Yes. Um, and have you ever <clears throat> have either of you ever been in trouble with the law or immigration in Canada or mm. any other country? No. Never. Um, so, Mama, can you show me your IDs, your PR card, and then your other ID? Yes. And your other one? Okay, for your son. Okay. And then, Mom, can I see a license or a health card from you? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is ask you to cut your PR cards. So please hold your PR card in front of the camera like this. And then cut it in the shape of a plus sign. So you have four pieces when you're done, okay? Perfect, thank you. And then card. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. So what I'm gonna do now is I sent a message in the chat. Can you guys open it? Do you see the message I sent you? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to ask you to take a picture, Mom. Just use your camera and take a picture of the message in the chat. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, so pretty much these instructions tell you how you can access your certificate after the ceremony. Um, so please follow each step, step by step. And... Um, once you complete the steps, your certificate should be accessible to you five days from the ceremony day. So at the latest next Tuesday, sorry, not five days, five business days. So at the latest next Tuesday, you should be able to access your certificates, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for your patience this morning. My name is Isabel de Freitas and I am today's clerk. Your full attention is required for the duration of the ceremony. 
and the presiding official today is Judge Anthony Blair. Just a reminder that your cameras must be on throughout the duration of the ceremony. If your cameras are not on, you will not be able to complete your citizenship today. You will be muted during the ceremony, but if you would like to applaud, you can wave your hands in the air like this. No pictures or recording are permitted as other candidates have not given you permission to do so. You'll be given a chance to take a picture with the presiding official at the very end, and I'll let you know when. Now please enjoy the ceremony. The citizenship ceremony is now in session. In the spirit of reconciliation, we will be playing a video called Welcome, There is Room. It was developed and produced by and with Indigenous people to showcase the history, culture, and diversity of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people in Canada. Taking responsibility for oneself and one's family, serving on a jury, voting in elections, protecting and enjoying our heritage and environment, and helping others in the community. Canada is a bilingual country and has two official languages, English and French. You have the right to be served in either official language when you deal with the federal government. We will now proceed with the oath of citizenship. Candidates over 14 years of age are required to take the oath. You must repeat the oath in English or French as a symbolic gesture of your commitment to respecting Canada's two official languages. So everyone becoming a citizen today must be directly in front of the camera so that we can see you properly. When you are Canadian citizens, you now share the same rights and responsibilities as all other Canadians, regardless of how long they've been here. And so while you exercise your rights, don't forget your responsibilities because it is by living up to your responsibilities that you assist in ensuring that Canada continues to be the great country that it is. And in doing so, please bear in mind that it is imperative that you leave this world a better place than you found it. And so my wish for you today is a long, peaceful, and prosperous life in this year chosen land. I also encourage you to get in touch with your family and friends to celebrate your great achievement today. You can post online and let them know you are now Canadian citizens. So I say to you, congratulations again, and welcome to the Canadian family. Thank you. Merci, thank you, Judge Blair. We're going to hear a few words from our Prime Minister, followed by our national anthem. Congratulations. You are now officially a Canadian. Now, your journey here was unique. Whether you came here for safety, to reconnect with family, or just to start a new life, you are now an equal member of our country. And as Canadians, we share responsibilities to look out for one another. To welcome those who are new here and to respect those who are indigenous to this land. But always to leave our communities better than we found them. So as you continue your life here, remember this day when you became a citizen. Think about everything you can do every day forward to strengthen our country. Congratulations again. Yeah. 
ceremony. The citizenship ceremony is now closed. I'm going to ask you all now to please turn off your videos so that you can only see the presiding official and myself on your screen. Once everyone's camera is off, you will then take your device, turn around with Judge Blair in the background, and you can take some selfies, some screenshots, or if there's someone there to help take photos as well, that will work. We will spotlight Judge Blair for 30 seconds but only after everyone's camera is off. So for those of you that do not know how to do that, we can help you turn off your cameras as we will not start the mini photo shoot until everyone's camera is turned off. Before you can apply for a passport, you need your citizenship certificate. So make sure you send that form back to us today so you can apply for your passport and then travel. Congratulations from the Institute for Canadian Citizenship. It's a national charity that delivers programs to inspire inclusion and active citizenship. You received their link, it's called Canoe, and it was in your invitation, so make sure you log on and register with them. It's good for one year of free admission to museums, science centers, art galleries, and parks across Canada. It expires one year from today, so make sure you register and take advantage of this great gift. Once again, congratulations and welcome to the Canadian family. The citizenship ceremony is now over and so is the information session. It was a pleasure to be here with you today. You can press the red leave button at the bottom of your screen to disconnect. Enjoy your day and all the best. Bye for now.